like any filmmaker, I guess it changes every day. There are films that like I come back to religiously. I have a massive thing for Paul Schrader's Mishima. The way it kind of shifts between fiction and reality and the way his life morphs and kind of gets lost in his work. I cannot believe how good that film is. I, I think it's like absolutely remarkable. I got to put a Claire Denny in. I love 35 Shots of Rum. I think it's like, I just think it's such an incredible film. I've got a big thing for um, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I feel like Phil Lord and Chris Miller aren't quite given, I mean, I know they're massive creative voices of the moment, but like, I'm not quite sure they're given the kind of like auteur respect they deserve. Like, I think like Lego Movie, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, everything they're doing with Spider-Verse, like, they're like pivotal films. They completely changed like film language in the last 10 years. And I'm just in awe of them. And Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs was the first one I saw. And I remember sitting there just going, this is different. Like, this is really incredible filmmaking. I, I might put in Tam Popo. Uh, I just think Tam Popo is just a complete, just nut. Like the fact that they've made this kind of Western about ramen, like, it's so weird, the whole concept and the way the film's put together. And it feels like it's always about to break. And that's something that always kind of attracts me to any film. Like, I love things that feel like they're on the edge. <laughs>